When you look at this FC Cincinnati side, Pat Noonan wants to be calculated in his approach. A first start for Felipe Gutierrez on his return to the club, the former DP for Sporting and MLS for Peter Vermees, one of the most recognizable faces in the league. The ball rolls in Cincinnati. It's Sporting in possession, moving from right to left on your screens. It is match day one. And a promising approach once more from Sporting Kansas City. It's Shelton. The early cross! And it's an own goal! With the top for Brandon Vasquez, who's in behind Vasquez against Fontas. It's loose! Rupenza denied by Polskamp. Kinder ready to deliver. Sporting already up. 1-0 to the good. It's curled in toward the back post for Rosero! And they've doubled the lead! He specializes in the air, Rosero. His third goal of the season in all competitions. And with not a quarter of an hour played. And Rosero gets off the back shoulder of Haglin. He started a yard in front of Haglin. Haglin ends up a yard the wrong side. And because of the pace, the way it's curling into goal, all Rosero has to do is get over it, head it down. Alicant tries to make himself as big as he can. But ultimately, from that range, with that expert weight put on the pass from Gadi Kinda, all Rosero has to do is put it anywhere but into the path of Alicant. Lifted into the heart of the area and just on the top side of the crossbar from Brandon Vasquez. Vasquez pulling off the shoulder of Fontas and Fontas does just enough. He does pull him back and it does affect Vasquez from being able to get a clean effort at goal. Polito with his back to goal, tried the back heel, didn't come off. Mosqueda took it away and is fouled by Alan Pulido. Oh, Pulido just And Pulido with some up. afters right in front of the referee who goes to the back pocket and Alan Pulido gets a straight red card. A few ticks short of the 30-minute mark. Sporting Kansas City are down a man. There's no question about it. There's no leg to stand on in any argument at all right now. Pulido has led his team down in this moment and all because of that simple push from Mosquera. That's unwarranted, it's unnecessary. All red cards are reviewed, but that, from the replays we've seen... Yeah, they can do everything to not concede within the first couple of minutes because the crowd at TQL Stadium were out of the match. Now they're the loudest they've been all evening long. Here's Acosta. It's clipped in toward the spot and rising to meet it! They've got one back! Ian Murphy! His first goal of the season halves the deficit. Murphy's going to win this, and it's going to hit the crossbar and come off of the back of Polskamp. This is unlucky for Polskamp. Murphy won't get credit with the goal. This will go down as an own goal because it's coming back the other direction. It hits the backside of Polskamp. It's terribly unlucky. Murphy had gotten away from his mark. It's a lovely cutback to find the open player at the top of the six. Long diagonal for Barrial. Davis tracks it down, knocks it down, but for Acosta, it's Lucho Acosta on his left. Drag back, and Vasquez deposits it in! Lucho Acosta, the genesis of it. And Brandon Vasquez draws Cincinnati back level. Now back to level in terms of the scoreboard. Incredibly unlucky from Jake Davis. He's trying to bring this down. And when he does, he puts it right to the path of Acosta. And then... Into the edge of the six ball. Terra settling it nicely. Now Eric Tommy back onto his right. Leaves it for Leibold. Appeals for a handball. The arm came up from Elvis Powell. And a penalty. A chance for Sporting Kansas City to take back the lead for Sporting Kansas City. Wow, Powell did ever so well to not bite on the initial challenge from Tommy, and he's so unlucky in this moment because he's just moving across. It, yeah, he extends his hand, it's absolute. And now stands 12 paces away from Polskamp for the go-ahead goal. Kinda buries it! Central. Now Barrial. 
got options to the inside. He just dealt with it. Acosta edge of the box. Lucho Acosta! The deflection takes it out. It's appealing for a handball. It's a penalty! In the final seconds of the final minute of stoppage time. On the shot from Acosta. Watch this. This comes through with Rosero. His arm is to the side, but the chicken wing comes out. And he just sticks his left arm and his left elbow out to block the shot. He's got it behind his back, and he does make an effort to extend to try to block. And now the go-ahead. Here's Lucho Acosta! So Biaz got to be third player to get the MVP chance from the TQL. Waste no time. Biaz got to slot it in. Here's Fontas. And Fontas is denied! Cincinnati takes the shootout! A huge stop by Ali Khan and a celebration worthy of the moment in the group. All the pressure on Fontas. He had to make it to keep it alive. And Ali Khan does a great job of not overcommitting. And he's able to make the save with his feet. Wins his team an extra point. A resilient performance from Sporting Kansas City playing for over an hour. Down a man. They conceded the lead.